let's see a simple way to load different scenes using buttons in Unity. Here I have three scenes, the main scene with two buttons, those buttons lead to scene 1 and scene 2, and each of these scenes consists of a title and a button to return to the main scene. In the description I leave you a link to the page where you can download this package with the scenes and the script that we are going to make now to solve the problem. Before making the script, it's important to mention that the scenes we create in Unity have to be added to the compilation. For that, we have to open the scene and go to File, Build Settings and click here on the Add Open Scene button. Here we add the main scene. I'm going to do the same for the scene 1. And the scene 2, I'm going to leave it without adding so you can see the error that appears when you try to load it. Now, let's create the script to load the scenes. I named it Change Scene with Button. Let's remove the start and update functions because we are not going to use them and we need to implement a namespace called unityengine.scenemanagement. Now we will define a public function which will be executed by the buttons and it will be load a particular scene using its name, public void load scene and we're going to make it receive as parameter a string with the name of the scene. Then this function, what it's going to do is to load the scene with the name that we send as parameter. For that, we have to use the load scene function from the scene manager class, passing the name of the scene as parameter. This is the instruction that actually loads the scene, but we're going to use this auxiliary function to make the buttons execute it. Now, we need to add this script to a game object in the hierarchy. In my case, I'm going to create a new game object and call it scene control. Add the script to it, this way we can start using it. Now we need the buttons to execute the function that we have defined. For that, I select both buttons and here in the inspector, in the button component, click on the plus sign and drag the game object that has the script, this one, scene control. And then I'm going to make it execute the function. Inside change scene with button, the load scene function that requires a string as a parameter. Now the first button will load the scene called scene1. So here in the parameter that is sent to the function, I will write that name, scene1. You have to write exactly the name of the scene as it is, case sensitive. The other button the same, only it will load the scene too. So we write that name instead. Let's test what we have so far. Enter in the blade mode and press the button to go to scene 1. Here, as we can see, the scene was loaded. If I press this button to go back to the main scene, it doesn't work because I haven't configured yet. I'm going to test it again, but this time trying to go to scene 2. Remember that I didn't add it to the compilation. When I try to load it, a message appears in the console telling us that this scene is not added and that we have to go to File, Build Settings and add it. So open the scene 2, go to File, Build Settings and add the open scene. Now when we press the button to go to the scene 2, it works. The rest of the video is the same process but making the buttons from the scene 1 and scene 2 to load the main scene. Once all the buttons are configured, we can navigate between all the scenes. That's all I wanted to show you. Remember that in the description I leave you a link so you can download the package with these scenes and the script. I hope you find it useful. See you next time.